The woods welcome you. Know that the creatures here are neither enemies nor friends. There are hunters and prey. For you? Perhaps. The Viridian Sentinel once kept the wild at bay for the folk of Bankurai, but his power wanes. Soon he may regret saving the Princess of Evermore. Her mother already mourns her death, so why interrupt the natural course? Gravely wounded, but yes, Princess Alara is here. The Sentinel tends to her, and it takes all his power to draw her away from death. He would welcome aid if you wish to give it. We weird have fulfilled our part of the bargain and shall offer no more. We'll be at the Standing Stones by Viridian Lake. His power is strongest there. Look for the broken statue. It overlooks the altar where he works. The Sentinel is part of an ancient pact made long before living memory. A guardian of the woods of sorts who anoints his or her successor without needing our approval. Not all weird believe we should continue to honor the pact. The Glenmoral Weird were not a party to the original pact. It's only our connection to the forest which binds us to it. The Sentinel is no true ally to the Weirises of the Viridian Wood. His sway over the natural order is anything but natural. If I had a seed for every man, woman, and child who asked me that, I'd cover the land in ivy in a fortnight. We are of the forest, and the forest is of us. That is all an outsider needs to know. Sad, isn't it? The poor child. I'm afraid not. As the Sentinel, I must warn you that these woods are unsafe. But as old girls, I'm glad to see a friendly face. I remember when that child wasn't more than a knee's height, and now she's laid out like a corpse. She was attacked and left for dead by the wayside like a beast. Well, she won't die on my watch. Not if you can help me. Around the lake, you'll find rings of mushrooms, fairy rings, but fairies aren't what I need. Take my amulet. Get down in the center of the rings and feel the earth. I need the energy from there to keep Alara alive. I need to take the child back to my hut. It's just up the hill a bit. Can't miss it. Well, the weird won't call me anything different. Most people who live around here call me old girls or just Stenwick. The Viridian Sentinel is a bit of a mouthful, don't you think? Makes me sound more important than I really am. These woods have a life and a mind of their own. Well, what I do is make sure it doesn't get out of hand. There's some good folk who live near these lands, and without a firm hand, why, the, the wild would grow right over them. Me? I'd left Evermore and decided to live my life in the woods. And I met a man here, the previous sentinel. He needed help, and I stayed with him. When he grew too weary, he blessed me with the title. A long, long time ago. Once I even worked as a royal gardener in Evermore. I'd well, I'm more comfortable in the woods. It's where I belong.
I was younger, I could instantly purge the poison running through this young lady's veins. Now it takes all my strength just to keep her breathing. The poor dear. Just in time. I've made a salve for Alara that'll help her wake. I'll channel what energy I have left into her. The amulet should be able to sustain me afterwards. At least I hope it will. This will just take a moment. Took more out of me than I thought. Go on, give it to the poor girl. I'll be all right. I was asleep? What am I doing in this hovel? And who are you? No, I remember. Stenwick brought me here. I was sick. Apologies, but I still don't remember who you are. Then you have my gratitude. I feel weak, but not unwell. It seems my outer wounds have all been healed. Tell me, stranger, how fares Evermore? Is my mother well? My father? I see. My mother must be in mourning then. I will send word that I am well, if Stenwick is willing. Ah, we have company, it seems. Who's coming in? The forest feels your weakness, Sentinel. This is treacherous ground. Enter Daymara. Was that a warning or a threat? Stenwick, who is this? A Weiris? Yes, child. You will know more of them soon enough. Is that so? You're more foolish than I thought, old man. Don't think anything of this. The weird are a strange folk. The Weird and I have always had a tenuous relationship, but saving Ilara was something I needed to do, regardless of their objections. It will make this process harder than it needs to be, but I still have some spirit in me yet. Uh, it's quite complicated. Suffice to say, they don't think I should use the forest power for such things. Of course, they'd much rather I didn't exist at all. But it changes nothing. There's work to be done, and I'm not getting any younger. Oh, my salve was but a reprieve, I fear. In order to safeguard Alara, I need to do something drastic, and I'll need the Weird's help. You've seen the Spriggans of the forest, I'll bet. There's one that's much older and much wiser than the rest of them. Some call her the Voice of the Forest. In a way, she is. I need a bud from one of her branches, one freely given. It can harness the full power of these woods to safeguard Alara's life. May I ask your aid once again? They are guardians of nature in the truest sense, and I am a guardian of the people. Our interests don't always coincide. They see my role as sentinel as unnatural, though the sentinel has existed for generations. Ah, oh, my salve was but a reprieve, I fear. Some call her the voice of the forest. In a way, she is. I need a bud from one of her branches, one freely given. It can harness the full power of these woods to safeguard Ilara's life. May I ask your aid once again? Find the voice of the forest. It shouldn't be difficult to find, but if you must... Many Spriggans carry a spore that returns to the voice of the forest when the Spriggan dies. You could kill them and follow it to the voice, but that certainly won't make it very happy. Take my amulet. Its power is spent, but the voice of the forest will recognize it and grant you an audience. Weiris Damara may not welcome you when you take the bud to her, but persevere. She knows what the weird must do. I won't sit here and let you do all the work. We have to find the voice of the forest. If Stenwick needs a sprig and bud, then I'll do anything to get it for him. I suppose you're right. I'll stay here with Stenwick. But this forest voice, if it's like a spriggan, it will react to their deaths. I bet you could kill some spriggans to draw it out. Probably, but they're animals. I don't see any other way to reason with them. Stenwick needs the bud, and we don't have time to coddle the Spriggans. We need their cooperation, whether they intend to give it or not. And if we never find it? No. Kill the Spriggans. It's the best chance to do this quickly.
This creature disturbs the woods with the sentinels binding as a token. Has the forest not bent to the whims of the sentinel already? What more can we give? So he may pass our yoke to another, a stranger to the woods. Your demand is empty, voice of the sentinel. I refuse. You hold the last of his power over us. Why should we fear such an insignificant object? The Sentinel cannot, but perhaps you can. The amulet prevents the woods from cleansing itself. Sprouts lie sleeping within the troll's offal. Use the amulet to wake them and add to our number. Then I will grant you this boon. We only seek to grow as our nature intends. Your sentinel is the one who prevents this. But you care nothing for our plight. It is a waste to speak of this further. Take the bud and be gone. But know this. There shall be no peace in these woods. scent surrounds you. Did the Sentinel send you? How dare the Sentinel pick his successor out of pity? But she didn't bring us the bud, you did. Why should we give our blessing to one who needs another to carry her burdens? He didn't even trust you enough to tell you, did he? Let the Sentinel explain it to you when you next see him. I'll do my part and no more. Where is this princess who is greater than the needs of nature? Too weak to even follow you? No, the forest does not need such a creature. The sentinel oversteps his bounds, and the weird will not allow it. If you have something to say, you'll say it to my face. I will. You are weak, fit for little more than prey. How do you hope to wield the Sentinel's power? Stenwick is trying to save my life. I don't know what he has planned, but I certainly owe it to him to see this through. The child knows nothing, and he expects us to offer our blessing? I don't know what Stenwick is planning, but if it'll save my life, I trust him. I don't understand why these weird people can't see that. Sounds like jealousy to me. It won't stand in my way. I won't give up a second chance at life for the whims of some forest folk. Stenwick is a kind man. Why won't they see that he means no harm? Why? She pretends to be in charge of everything. And we've already received the bud from the voice of the forest. That's good enough for me. And it ought to be enough for the likes of her. Once, the Viridian Sentinel stood for something more than a wet nurse to spoil children. Now, he expects us to train and rear this daughter of the city as our own? No. The Sentinel asks too much. His time wanes. He will make this girl the new Sentinel, untrained and unfit. He holds no respect for the forest and no respect for the weird. What does it matter to us if one child withers to allow the forest to grow free, I ask you? Hmm. We've heard nothing from the Sentinel these past days but demands. Still, we will do what must be done. Perhaps we can trust you to make the correct decision when the time comes. Alphine will help you prepare it. 
For the Sentinel's ritual, he needs a Spriggan bud, freely given. You have obtained that, but the bud will not bloom without nurturing. I hope you aren't squeamish about blood. But sister, you said this was the last time we would help the Sentinel. Enough. Come, let us finish the blessing and be done with it. Come along then. We have a sacrifice ready. Stenwick only asked for Weird's blessing to be kind, but they don't seem ready to help him, do they? Keep them steady, no matter what happens. We will need to bless the voices, Bud, if you intend to go through with this. Plunge it into the offering. Quickly! That's it. The bud is ready. Take it to the girl, Ilara. I can't believe Demara continues to help the Sentinel on this mad scheme. We will all suffer for his generosity in the end. The girl knows nothing of the woods, and it will cost us all dearly. The weird have stalled long enough. Stenwick isn't healthy, and we must do what he asked before it's too late. Go to him. Tell him what we've done. I'm short of breath and must save my strength. I have a feeling they don't dare harm me as long as I'm under Stenwick's protection. We'll see if I guessed correctly. Of course. And this bud may heal Stenwick, the way he healed me. We'll need to use it if we're to save him. Take him to that altar in the lake. I'll meet you there. I was hoping you'd return before... I couldn't speak to you one last time. It's good Alar's not with you. I'd hate for her to see me in such a state. Time, my friend. I gave my everything to heal Alara, and it still it won't be enough. That's why I sent you to get the Spriggan Bud. The only way she'll live past a fortnight is if she becomes the Sentinel. <laughs> and luckily there'll be a vacancy shortly. In a sense, the power of the Sentinel is immortal. I'm old, but Ilara is young. The Sentinel's power will take root and flourish in her. The weird fear what she will become, but you can't let that stop you. Take my essence. When I'm gone, save Ilara. Tell her. She must tame the will of the woods. The bud will summon, and the amulet will bind. The weird certainly won't help, considering they'd much rather see this power go to waste. Don't let the Sentinel's power fade. It must live on in Ilara. he'd be here by now. Where is Stenwick? He gave everything to keep me alive. Even his life. I don't even know what to do now. Does that mean I'm doomed to die as well? That was his plan all along, wasn't it? And I never got to thank him. If this is what he wanted, then I must see it through. You still have his amulet? Take it to the altar. We'll say a few words for him. So these moats are all that's left of dear Stenwick. What's that sound? Can you hear it? Mm. 
We meet again, ally of the Viridian Sentinel. Now you seek to subjugate these woods once again. We will see if you can succeed. How I long to watch you stumble and fail. But an ancient pact compels me to explain the right. One simply has to gather the moats about the lake. But beware, we are not without our own defenses. Then there will be no Viridian Sentinel. The yoke about our necks for centuries would be freed. Of course, there is one way to ensure the princess does not become the sentinel. Destroy the spriggan bud I gave you, and she will fail. It is true, but we have endured a slow death for much longer. Man was not meant to rule over nature. No matter their intentions, they cannot know the will of the woods. The Viridian Sentinel is a mockery of nature's true cycle. The torches on either side would suffice. Their flames and your intention are more than enough. You are the one with the power to change this mortal. How I long to watch you stumble and fail. I think I'm better now. Gods, what is this place? I didn't think we'd be able to pull through at the end, but we did. We did! You can't imagine how this feels. I had no idea Stenwick had this kind of... power. I can feel the earth. I can taste the wind. It's like every piece of this forest is a part of me. I will remain here, a part of these woods forever. Could I even command the beasts? It seems that it would have been a trivial matter. More than that. The rocks themselves give me strength. I feel immortal. Ah, apologies, my friend. This power, it's heady, like a deep, cold pool. Refreshing, but so easy to fall into. I have much to learn, it seems. We met only briefly, but the forest will remember your deeds forever. I will make sure of it. So much has happened to me. It's hard to think clearly. No. I belong here, in these woods. Eventually, the weird and I will come to terms. I see our past and present through the eyes of the Sentinel. There will never be love between us, but understanding is not too much to ask. And now another young one puts the forest under her heel. We will see if she's strong enough to survive on her own. The weird will have no part in this sentinel's charge. He understood what the sentinel meant, but she did not. Perhaps we might have reached some sort of compromise. Or perhaps not. The sentinel's mantle was never meant to be used this way. He broke the pact with the forest as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> 